you will need some paint, Mod Podge, you're gonna need a box, like a little wooden box. I got mine from Michael's, it was around $5. Then you're gonna need some brushes, somewhere to blend your paint, and I used the top of the glass jar, I honestly just use that for everything. And then you're gonna need some water. The first thing you're gonna do is take the base color that you want. Um, I chose green. And it did take a couple layers to cover the whole box completely and make it even and nice. And my sister is the one demonstrating this, by the way. Here's what the box looked like after we finished the whole thing. And we did not cover it inside because um, I thought it just looked cool with the wood original. But if you want to, you can paint it something else too. Now you're gonna take a pencil or marker, whatever you want, and draw on some designs on the box because you wanna decorate it. If you don't wanna draw something, you can always just get like a photo and glue it on or a picture or find something on the internet to put on, but we decided to draw it and then fill it in with paint. There you go. So now you're filling it in with paint. You just use white and again, it did take a couple of layers to look good. Then we added, I added some golden dots because, I mean, just a lot of little touches to make it look nice. Now you're gonna take some Mod Podge and cover the whole thing because you want to make it waterproof or at least like you don't want the paint to start coming off if like a few drops of water get on it and um, I chose the matte one because I didn't want the box to be glossy but this is totally your choice now take some photos you just printed out like around eight of them and cut them so that you know they will fit in the box and look good next I took some cardstock and cut it into long strips and then folded it to make sections on which you would post the photos later. Make sure that each section fits comfortably in the box because that's important. So then we just um, taped the two together in the back so it's not shown. It would be easier if you just had a long strip of cardstock and you didn't have to cut it out in sections, but we couldn't do that. So next we took some glue and just glued the whole thing to the bottom of the box so it's stuck there. I suggest just using hot glue or just normal glue. Don't really use like liquid super glue because that leaks through. As you can see now, we are sticking on the photos onto the paper. We just used our normal glue stick. And then finally, you're gonna take a little sheet of paper. We had some colorful um, paper. It was design paper with some words on it. And make a little tab at the end through which you would pull it. Then I used um, a nice pen and everything, and I made a sweet quote. It says, family, where life begins and love never ends. And they did this on the back of the first photo um, section. So this is what the final product looks like. I think it's really sweet. And then I did not show this in the video, but um, I, we did add some little designs between each photo, like little polka dots or little hearts. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please tell me how yours turned out in the comments below. Give me your opinions, critiques, and if you have any requests or suggestions for the next video, please feel free to comment below. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Thank you. I'll see you next time. Bye.